All right. My name is Ronnie Mickle, and I am the original owner and founder of Notary Stars. And the purpose of this meeting tonight is to show you around Notary Stars to make sure that you understand where everything is located. Um, I want to make sure that you understand the history of Notary Stars and why I even started this platform in the first place. Um, Notary Stars is a project that I started probably, it actually started probably about six years ago, maybe seven. Um, I remember posting on Facebook one night, I posted in a Facebook form, I, I said, wouldn't it be nice if we had a listing site that had training and uh, we were able to, you know, communicate with one another and uh, the listing site worked well for us. And um, I posted all these things that I wished were, were uh, going to happen. And I went to sleep and I woke up and you would have thought that Demi Lovato had actually posted, you know, something really bad or something because I woke up and I just abandoned that Facebook group altogether. It was uh, very painful. I, I got comments like, who do you think you are? We already have one, two, three notary. Uh, notary Cafe has been doing this for years. You just want money from notaries. And it kind of broke my heart. So I just put it on hold until about four years ago. Um, four years ago, my signing agency, Unlimited Inc. Notary, really got off the ground. And at the time, uh, I was just a local signing agency, and uh, I was approached by my client, and they said, "You look, we, we love your local team, but when it gets out of the local team, um, you're not doing so well. And you know, you have a bright future with us, but we need you to kind of tighten up." And at that time, the only trainer that I could find on the internet that could kind of put us under the all under the same umbrella was uh, Carol Rafe, the late Carol Rafe from Notary to Pro. And I reached out to her and I said, "Hey, look." Um, my clients are growing. I'm growing with them, but uh, they've given me an ultimatum that said, "Hey, you, you either have to get better quality, or we're we're not going to be able to continue with you." So, Miss Carol was very generous at the time. She allowed us to give 50% off her course for any of the notaries that were currently working with us, and it was within weeks of doing that that um, my clients came to me and said, "Hey, uh, we think you're doing better." Uh, we'd like to actually go statewide with you and then nationwide with you. And we filed suit. And as we went nationwide, uh, it got a little harder to control. And I saw a need for advanced training uh, when it came to uh, training notaries. So I reached out to Carol, who I have the utmost respect for. And she said, I think this is great. I wanted to do training on more than buyer, seller, and refinance, I wanted to do what if it was closing in a trust? What if it's closing in a VA? What if it's closing in, uh, you know, with AKA language or FKA language? Um, I wanted to address all of the issues out there. And so we thus began uh, our journey at Notary Stars. Now, I want to tell you that um, I'm going to share my screen here. And I want to tell you that it's uh, really important as a member of Notary Stars uh, for you to get everything that you possibly can out of the site. Um, we've worked really hard in to ensure that you are able to have a listing that actually um, can work for you and benefit you in many, many ways, and also get the education that you need to grow and scale your business. So right now I'm gonna start with your listing, and then I'm gonna move into where everything is on the site whether you're a new member or you're going to become a new member or you're thinking about upgrading with us, you're going to be able to see in this video everything that the Notary Stars website has to offer, starting right with the home page. On our home page, doesn't matter if you're a member or not, uh, when you come to our, our home page, you're able to see the calendar events that we have available for you. Right now, you might not see that many because we're moving into a new month in December, uh, but you're able to see everything that's scheduled up for a month whether you're a member or not. Now, we'll talk about where the members only calendar is located, but you'll always be able to see any event that we think that you should be attending anytime on our homepage. Now, we also post very important blogs on our, our, our website, blogs that we think that uh, notaries should be aware of. And these are also emailed out on our email list. If you've ever subscribed, you'll get a notification for these. We try not to send but one mass email a month. We do send about important events. But it's really important that you take note of all of the articles that are here available for you. Some of our articles have been viewed, I, I don't know, I mean, sometimes eight, 9,000 times. 
Uh, so I'd just like for you to take note that you can come here and get some light reading that has a lot of information for you. Now there are extended blogs on the website that you can come under community blogs. We try to highlight the most recent blogs for you so that you can uh, find them very quickly. Now, another thing that we have on our homepage here, and whether you're a member or not, is we had a series that we performed last year, and it was divided by 12 part series over the course of a year. Our last series is actually on December uh, 21st, 2022. Uh, we decided to do an entire series about every uh, month where you should be in your, your notary business. So you can start this series as of today and watch them all in one, or you can choose to watch one a month for the next uh, 12 months, but they are designed to go along with you in your notary business where you are, especially if you're brand new and you're trying to start out, this is a great way to kind of just make sure you're in the right place at the right time each month. We also have a podcast series where we work with other, uh, where we work with other podcasts. Uh, Abraham Zamora, I appear on his podcast, The Notary Entrepreneur, uh, quite frequently, and we post the replays of these podcasts here. These are for you, so when you're driving around in your car, you can get valuable information about the notary industry or the notary business and be able to not have to keep your eyes on anything. Now, I'm going to skip over this because we're going to talk about this later. These are a la carte courses that you can purchase from our notary marketing course. We'll talk about these later, but you are able to purchase those. We, of course, want to promote our social media. And then if we have any important come upcoming events, we always post them on our homepage as well. Now, I want to point out this event that's on the screen here, Notary Stars Unlimited, Str Unlimited Stronger Together. Last year, it was Make 2022 Your Year. This year, our theme is Stronger Together. We're going to talk about that tonight as well because Notary Stars is evolving. And I want to make sure that you understand where we're taking this platform in the future. We also list local and national trainers that we believe in, and we are adding more to this site every day. These are trainers that we have interviewed or um, actually met with or have appeared on Notary Stars who actually have something to offer to the notary community other than go out and make money. Um, you'll see a lot of names appearing across here, and we're adding names consistently. We do not believe we're the only training platform that you can learn from. We actually are trying to be an informational highway, which is what I think a lot of older listing sites wanted to do, but they never got the, the ability to evolve or never took the initiative to evolve. One thing that you'll see that's noticed, uh, very noticeable right here on the Notary Stars homepage is we are starting to direct you towards state groups. Um, with the very first one to appear here is the California League of Independent Notaries. We are doing a very special uh, episode with December the 5th with the California Independent League of Notaries and you may be thinking I'm in Arizona or I'm in Tennessee, but I will tell you, no matter where you are, this episode that we have coming up on December 5th is going to be very important. We are now taking notary stars in the direction of protecting notaries future that means by either raising fees, making sure the fees don't get lowered or making sure that we are protecting ourselves against the Ron movement. Um, I will tell you, if you've been with us for a, a little while at Notary Stars, you will probably have already heard my rants about how sometimes Ron is not working in our favor and it's time that we get involved or else someone's gonna pull the tablecloth out from under us. So we are definitely making a partnership with organizations that are lobbying for notaries, starting with the California League of Independent Notaries. If you are interested in fighting for your future, uh, I would like to invite you to um, attend this event uh, with us and make sure that you are um, signed up so you can learn how to fight for your future in your state. Okay, we're going to be facilitating helping groups form throughout the country this year. We're going to be, and it's all going to kick off on this meeting. Now, that's all just everything on the homepage of Notary Stars. The next thing that I want to talk about is our listings, and then I'm going to go through what you have access to as at, at, at those listing levels. We actually have over, I stopped counting at 150, you know, a year ago, it was like, oh yeah, we're about at 150 hours. I stopped counting at 150 hours of training. There's probably over 200 hours of training on this website. We're just going to stop marketing at 150 because I noticed when notaries started saying, oh, I don't want to spend 150 hours of training. 
but there's actually over 150 hours of training on this website. But let's go into the listing portion of this website to, um, to show you what you have access to and what you can actually do with your listing. So I'm gonna click on member login here and it's gonna ask me to log in uh, to my own listing here. Now in your dashboard, there are two videos. One is gonna be this, this video that we're actually filming right now will appear for you. Right now we had one from 2022 to 2023 and then to maximize your listing. We have some information for you here, and I have to tell you, notaries do zoom by this and just put in their information and hope everything goes well. But please don't do that at Notary Stars because we have a lot of SEO power. And I will get more into that a little bit later into this session, but when I mean SEO power, I'm gonna show you how that works. You do wanna spend all your time in your contact tabs, making sure that you fill them out accurately. Your listing is going to start from the zip code where you put in for your listing. Filling out the information in your listing, a, a good strong bio using keywords. Don't go in and just type in notary, notary, notary. That's not going to work. You want to write a nice organic bio so that you can get uh, the, the SEO power that the listing has. I'm just going to pop over to Google for a second and I'm going to start this fresh from Google. And you cannot fake this, okay? So I'm just gonna type in notary public 85013. You guys have probably seen me do this before. Of course, my business, Google My Business listing is gonna come up first. But as I scroll down the page of Google, what do we see on the very first page of Google? We see my listing at Notary Stars. Now, I filled out my listing properly. I put in information into my listing. And I followed all of those tabs and all the tick boxes that are available in my listing. And I'm on the first page of Google from my notary stars listing. If you don't have a website, the best option you have is to be listed on notary stars. I have to tell you, because we are aggressive with SEO and all those keywords that you think you're, you're going to learn about from anywhere else. They're already hard coded into our listing. Okay. I'm on Google trends two to three times a week with my marketing students, making sure I tell them the correct keywords. And over time, words have evolved. Um, so I have made sure to hard code in the background, anything that you put in, we're also putting in additional information. Now, if you have an upgraded listing, it's very important you maximize how many zip codes that you put in. Um, that's gonna also help you. But whenever somebody's looking for a, zip uh, a notary near you, you wanna make sure. You'll also see my signing agency on the first page of Google, which is not a notary stars listing. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but you'll notice I've got a good good part of page one, at least three out of 10 ain't bad, right? When you're fighting for space on the internet and getting found. All right, um, I wanna point out some things in your listing that are kind of really important. Uh, of course, we have our contact details. This address here is where they're going to actually put the pen marker for you in the zip code. You do not need to put in your street address. It will not show on your listing. That is only for you, but you do not need to actually put in your street address. That is just for our internal records. And I have to tell you, we're an electronic company, so you don't actually have to have it, but you do have to have a zip code. This is where your listing is going to pull from. Earlier this year, we added the ability to add any of your social media profiles that you wish. As long as they are professional, I highly encourage you to add them to your listing. We added TikTok this year, not my favorite thing, your Google My Business profile, your Yelp, Instagram, LinkedIn, any of those business profiles that you have, make sure they're in here. And let me tell you why. When you're linking out to more information about your business, Google loves that. And it's going to give you more pull on the internet. And I go further into that, into the video uh, with Maximize Your Listing. Now, the next tab that we're gonna to come to uh, when we're going in and putting in our information is our profile photo. I see a lot of times notaries who want to use a logo and that's okay, okay? You can make a banner for your company like I did, but I have to tell you, you've heard it before at other resources and I will tell you, it does not matter what you look like, okay? People like to hire someone that they see a nice photo from. They like to see your face, they like to know who's coming to their home, you are going to increase your bookings just by having a nice professional photo up. If you don't have a nice professional photo, find a really great wall. All of us have, you know, high megapixel cameras now with smartphones. 
or you know somebody who does have a great iPhone or a great Samsung and say, hey, I need you to come over and take a picture, put on the best that you can, do your hair the best that you can, and put up a nice photo, okay? And then you can put up a profile logo in addition to that, but you want to make sure your profile photo is actually your photo. It will increase, and that's on every listing site that's out there. Now, your listing details, this is where you're going to be able to plug in anything that you want to be a keyword on your website, okay? These little actual little tick boxes that are above here, you'll see them coming up as keywords on your listing, but they actually get filtered over for you. So when I send them out and, and people upload them for their list, uh, you, you, these little nuances go along with you, okay? So they know a lot about you just from these keywords. Um, I want to make sure that you understand we have a lot of the RON platforms that you could be on as a tick box here. And then we also have additional languages. Now, if you speak Spanish, we have bilingual and Spanish right up to the top because that is the, you know, the most prevalent bilingual that we're going to see in the United States. But make sure you choose any additional languages. I can't tell you enough how much business you are missing if you, and not just our platform, every platform, if you are not making sure they know that you speak another language, okay? I know notaries that miss out on five, six, seven hundred dollar signings if you speak Mandarin or Chinese uh, because you're not putting it in and, and someone needs it like right now and they're willing to pay the price. If you speak especially a specialty language, now for Spanish, you're probably not going to see that. It's too prevalent. But for other languages, Russian, um, Chinese, uh, Portuguese, uh, the, you, you really want to make sure they're in there. Um, we have a lot of uh, specialties that you can add. And then the training courses that you've taken. Now, if you see a training course that's not listed here, please email us in contact at notarystars.com. We want to make sure that if you've taken any training, um, outside of notary stars that you're able to put that in your profile remember we're promoting you out to other companies not just the general public this goes along with you so that they can verify things now one other thing that we did in the profile the contact details i believe uh, let's make sure where exactly it is i think it's going to be in the listing details let's just make sure now another thing below this area is if you have certifications from other companies, you're now allowed to add your National Notary Association verification link. So if someone is hiring you, they can actually click on your link and make sure you're up to date with the National Notary Association background check, errors and emissions, and your certification. Um, if you have a Notary to Pro certificate, you are now able to upload that certificate directly, and it will be downloadable for anybody that's on looking to you, and it will carry over when we send it out so they don't have to ask you for it or look for it. Loan signing system certificate, if you have one, you can upload that uh, right away. You can link your signing order profile, your Snapbox profile, and your ZigZig profile. By doing this, you're going to give those listings a boost because they also do the same thing. They're not as strong as us in SEO, but they're going to give your listings a boost. And people are going to be able to see your order count by putting those in there. Okay, They're going to be able to compare and say, oh, I see they did... 800 on uh, snap dogs and 60 on signing order or vice versa or you know 500 between the two they're going to be able to easily get you in and look at you by putting that information in there we do have a white glove uh, unlimited ink notary certification coming uh, it'll be an actual certificate that you can put in there that is completely separate from notary stars uh, but once you get that certificate if you are a white glove notary we are working on the design i'm looking forward to getting that out there uh, but you'll be able to upload that into notary stars as well and then if you've taken any training courses that we have not put out there uh, put up here yet there are three additional slots where you can put those in you want to make sure all of this information is listed in and i highly recommend you put your credentials also typed out down below remember google does not read images it only reads text so when people are looking for any of those credentials you want to make sure that it's listed in your profile. Okay, your about section, really important here. You want to make sure you hyper out, uh, hyperlink out to anything that you possibly can. Um, if you're talking about, you know, anything, 
and uh, make sure that you fill out a nice readable uh, bio. Don't just talk about how many signings you've done. Talk about how you want to help people, you know, facilitate closings. If you specialize in um, trust uh, signings, make sure you put that in there. Really get in there and make sure you do it. Now, if you have a booking engine, I want to tell you, uh, you can literally hyperlink out your booking engine so they can book you right off of Notary Stars. So if you are using something like Calendly or you can book me, or if you're in my marketing course and you're using something like JobForm, you can actually just book that right into your listing there. Uh, it's very easy for you to do. Um, we are working on, working on, please don't hold me to it. We are working on booking integrations for the near future at Notary Stars, probably six to seven months out. But our listings can act as a web page for you. And here's why they're more strong, they're gonna be stronger than any web page you can build. It even came up higher than my signing agency. You saw it on Google just a few minutes ago. It's because we have over 98,000 pages behind the closed doors of this site. Your listing has probably seven pages that are access to it. Um, every listing that's out there, there's, there, I mean, it's, it's crazy how much, and every listing out there is helping the other listing with keywords and more information. And every time you put information into the site, it's going to give us SEO power. This is the same way that 123 Notary and Notary Rotary achieved its greatness, except they did it a different way. They allowed forums on their website where notaries went in and complained about this industry. With all of that information going into the internet, they shot to the top of search rankings. But to be honest, it was the wrong way to gather SEO. It wasn't really helping notaries get hired. It was helping them just find ways to complain about the industry. So make sure that you fill out a professional profile. And that's why we don't have that many forums available on Notary Stars or didn't until the most recent uh, history of Notary Stars. Now we're gonna put in our service areas. This is where in, I have the most, I own the site. So I put in the most. And I also do put in city names. I wanna tell you, this is the biggest secret of Notary Stars, okay? You want to use zip codes. You can put one if you're at a higher level membership of an entire city, but if you put a county, you are not going to get found. So if you have a county in your listing and you're watching this, or you thought about putting one, or you just did, make sure you put in. All of the teaching that we have for notaries is dated back to, I don't know, a decade ago. And a decade ago, they did look for us by county. They don't anymore. Everything is what's near me, what's the fastest, what's the closest. Zip codes and city names or neighborhood names are going to be the way you get found. Now, at higher level memberships, you are able to add a state or a county. This is not going to help you. Remember, everyone who's typing in information on the internet, they want it now, they want it yesterday, and especially in our industry. Nobody needs a notary three weeks from now. Very rare. Everyone who needs a notary needs it today or they needed it yesterday. So remember, we want to use that space and use those keywords properly, and you're in control of your listing. So make sure you're using that zip code. Now, we're done with going over the listings for the moment. So I want to make sure that we start going over everything that Notary Stars has to offer. I'm going to start right here at the very beginning. We do take bookings for notaries online. Uh, we have you, we, the very first drop down is hire a direct notary so they can go through our directory if they didn't catch it on the first page. If they need a notary right now, they're able to book online and, and book us either for general public or for booking a loan signing. And I tell you, we get uh, a great deal of signings from those every month and we send them right back out to the notary stars. They can book a virtual notary. Uh, we have a way for them to purchase legal documents if they need them. And then we have signing uh, title and signing agency information in order for if a title company wants to sign up and use our notary stars. We have a public and legal documents also tab. This also helps fund notary stars. We do get money for referring this uh, service out for someone who's looking for a, a power of attorney or um, some document that they need. Uh, we have every document that's listed under legal services and when they purchase these we are partnered with this company you can actually partner with this company yourself called law depot if you have a high traffic website 
uh, if you've done really good with your marketing, this is a great way to get extra money by getting an affiliate. Remember, you can't suggest documents, but you can become an affiliate of Law Depot who can suggest the documents and you can port them in that direction. Okay. Um, now for brand new notaries, we have what we call a notary success map. There is a brand new notary, please read uh, statement here that we want every notary to read. We have a how to by state. So, and these are linked out to the National Notary Association. Um, uh, well, not this page. This is actually our how to's that we filmed by state. Then we have our notary success map that's on the website. If you are a brand new notary, I highly recommend printing out this page and checking off every item and making sure that you understand how to get set up and started in this industry. You know, if you've never been a notary before, this is your roadmap to success. It is exactly the same thing that I did, that Travis did, that Beth did, every one of us on the team did in order to get their business going, okay? And it's only 10 easy little steps. Um, the next thing that we have on here, if you're a brand new notary, we have our only uh, attorney only state list. This is going to tell you, you know, what state you're listed in and and give you an idea if you have to be an attorney or if an attorney has to be present involved in your signings. But I want everyone to know if you're in an attorney only state, that doesn't mean that you can't be a successful mobile notary. If you're in an attorney only closing state, attorneys use mobile notaries and you can a lot of times just be on the phone with them doing the signing for them and bringing them back to their office. Also, the, it only goes by where the property is located within the state. So if you ever need to double check, if you're in an attorney only closing state and you get offered a signing and it's a property closing in another state, you can look and see if that state requires if it needs a notary or not, uh, or an attorney. So let's say you're in Georgia and you get a property that's being refinanced in Arizona, but the signers just happen to be with you in your state and they want you to sign it, you can come and look and see Arizona, nope, no, no attorney required. So you can proceed with that as a notary because they don't need an attorney involved. Remember, it goes by where the property is located. And that's how a lot of signing agents that work in attorney only closing states operate. They are the notary when um, it, it's a, a refinance for a second home outside of the state. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is the NNA links for new notaries. Now we try our best to keep these updated. It'll tell you what, uh, what in, in every state what you need to do in order to become a notary and then also how to become a RON notary in that state. These are linked out to the National Notary Association. Their website is much larger than ours and ours is really big, uh, but we want to make sure that you don't get lost on their website. I still to this day get lost on their website. There's no shame in that. If you go to their website and you're like, okay, I'm having a little problem digging. Sometimes it might be easier to start here uh, where it's a little bit easier to find and get linked out to the right information that you're looking for. Now, the next thing that I'm going to briefly talk about is our free training section. Some of you today may be here, and I actually know that there is one or two of you here that watched all of our free training on YouTube, um, which is a great time for me to also pull up our YouTube page. A lot of you might have gone to our YouTube page and I'm just going to go to our actual channel here. You might have started out by watching all of the free training that we have on the website and thought, oh, that was it until you came to an event. I did make these three years ago, and I have to tell you, I made them with love. I went through every document in a buyer's package, but it is just the tip of an iceberg. It's just a buyer's package, very standard refinance, very standard. And I did every document that was out there. These were advertisements. Thank you for taking the bait. Um, I smile when I say that because although they were made with love and I really wanted to help the community, I wanted to build this community. So in almost four years now, um, it says three years, but it's almost four years now. All of these videos have been watched by people and I pick up the phone. They're like, I watch you on YouTube all the time or I hear your voice on YouTube. Um, these were made with love. They are accurate information, but they were just the tip of an iceberg of what we have to offer. Our YouTube channel right now, I invite you to subscribe to it. I'll actually post a link uh, to the YouTube channel in the chat right now. I would love for you guys to subscribe to it. 
anytime that we post anything for free, it doesn't matter if you're a member or not, um, you're able to uh, get a notification when we post uh, from that YouTube channel. We did a whole general notary training, not even having to do with loan signings. We did a basic loan signing training. We have our Notary Stars Unlimited episode up there. I released this during uh, the last part of the year called Customer Service Champions. I did an entire series last year for our notaries on how to provide great customer service as a signing agent. Anytime we get questions that we think, oh, we get that question a lot on the phone line, we post what we call a burning question. Anytime we hear a good tool tip or think of one, we do a notary hack. And now most recently we've been posting community tips uh, where in community tips, these are actually notary store members who bring us fresh information. We're like, hey, this let's give you the credit for this. And we film that episode, a uh, small little brief episode with them and then publish it to the webpage. There's been a lot of great information come out of community tips. That's all free. I mean, you might be thinking, God, where is he going to get to the part where we're paying for, right? Um, I'm going to get to that. But everything that you can find on our YouTube channel, uh, it's right up in your face. So I highly recommend you subscribe, browse it, bookmark it. It's going to be an awesome tool for you. And then we are also doing the same thing across the bottom of our Notary Stars channel, letting you know who we think are some of the best minds to follow in the industry because we know that you you um, we are not the only place to learn. One thing I want to point out here is that we've been asked many times because you guys know I love to DJ before these uh, episodes start. So I have started po posting some of our most popular songs that we play when we're getting revved up from different events. And I do like to play upbeat music. So if you are in your car, this is a great playlist for you to listen to. Um, so that you can, you know, keep pumped up even when you're not working. Uh, so I'm going to get back to going through Notary Stars here. That takes care of the free, uh, the free monthly events, uh, excuse me, the free training. Now I'm going to talk about the free monthly events tab. We do have two very important ones, and we're going into our next one. The first one is the primetime notaries. If you are a notary of a certain age, this was filmed with Carol, Carol Ray, Phyllis Trailer. Uh, myself and Beth Hathoot. Um, these are for notaries that are, you know, 50 plus and how to survive in this industry. Uh, this was a, a pretty great episode uh, that we did. It started around, I think it was after they stopped it around seven, nine. And I was like, no, 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 we have to keep this going. We came in around 11, 15, 2020, and we did it up until uh, Miss Carol uh, started to pass away. And we decided to stop that uh, series shortly before that. Um, so I want you to go back and watch these. There's a ton of information in these videos. And here's the catch. You don't have to be 50 plus. These are great hacks and things that notaries uh, can learn in their career. I especially if you're not a notary that's trying to go to make six figures. Not everybody here is to make six figures, right? Some people just wanna feed their families and have a great job and not have to work for the man. And I'm a big fan of that. Um, you can learn a lot of great slower paced tips in these videos. Um, we also have another episode, which is our Notary Stars Unlimited. You can watch all the replays there and get registered for the event. Uh, again, we are finishing our final episode, so I hope you'll get registered for December 21st. Uh, but then we are starting our next episode, which will become part of this tab called We Are Stronger Together. Now we're going to get into the members only training. I'm not going to go through every tab on here because I do want to save time for questions, but I do want to show you what we have at Notary Stars because I think sometimes people don't really understand everything that we have to offer. We have a training overview tab here and you're going to just kind of be able to see everything that we have to offer here. We offer in-depth training on traditional buyer files, new construction loan, traditional sellers, traditional refinances, files with non-buying spouses, FHA signings, veteran loans and VA signings, split signings for the first and second notary, home equity lines of credit, loan modifications, commercial loans, hard money loans, closing was with prepayment penalties, and the list goes on, okay? And if something else pops up, we're going to. Why do we offer all of this training? And I'll tell you why. I own a signing agency and Travis, my business partner, is here tonight. I will tell you that the problem is not with a notary that uh, that um, has done 100 refinances. 
The problem is with a notary that has done 100 refinances but never done a VA loan or doesn't do them that often. When you don't do something very often or you haven't done it yet, this is where you make your mistakes. And title and escrow officers throughout the country are relying on you to understand how to close every file that they can send your way, including reverse mortgages, which we also offer training on. In order to grow your notary business, you need to be an expert. And I have to tell you, they say to be an expert in any field, you have to um, do it for 10,000 hours to become an expert. We're giving you the first 150 plus at Notary Stars to help shorten that curve. You are gonna have to meet it with experience, but we're gonna try to help you make less errors. It's a good time to point out now, and I did several episodes and they are on the YouTube channel about the notary blacklist. There are so many people that just urge notaries out into the market or so many notaries who do think that they know more than they actually know. I learn something new every day as a signing, uh, signing agency. You can never know enough in this industry. And I, I wanna put it this way, the stroke of your pen allows children to leave their state or country with someone who is not their parent. The stroke of your pen allows hundreds of thousands of dollars to move in an instant. We have a great responsibility, not just in loan signings, but knowing loan signings where we make most of our money is so important because if you ever tick off the wrong loan officer who you tell, I know how to do this to, and you don't, you may wind up on a blacklist and not working at all. It is a very serious industry and it's been very, I've been very blessed to have the business that I have and grow the business that I have, but it did not come because I thought I knew everything. It because it came because I wanted to learn everything and I still learn things. I laughed with my marketing students earlier this week. I still take classes. I was in a class right before their class started that I had to teach. I was in a class and you, you know, I never stopped learning and at unlimited ink, Travis will be the first one to tell you, we learn something new about clients every day. And here's another thing. Our training is blanketed for the entire country. So it doesn't matter what state you're in. We are looking at bringing in state specific loan document trainers this year. Uh, we're starting with California, Florida and Arizona, but we are looking for more state specific training throughout the entire country or bringing that through in house. Um, and we don't mean on general notary work because Laura Beaver does that. And I've already had a conversation with her about that. I will never step on her toes because I have so much respect for her. We're talking about loan documents, loan documents that we may not be talking about at notary stars that could be for your state. So we are looking into starting that. Um, we have so much to offer. But one more thing that I want to point out that we have to offer at notary stars is our RON training. And before I move on to that, let me just point out. I see so many notaries get to module six and they know that's when I start promoting them. But the next modules are equally as important mistakes to avoid notary document scripts reverse mortgages, uh, which are least lesser common in most places uh, are less common sorry if I misspoke there less common in most places. Uh, very important concepts customer service champions additional services you can add to your business, notary tech, where you can learn how to use your printer and your scanner and Adobe. Um, we have all of these listed in your journey and you don't wanna just stop at module six. You wanna get all of that training. Now at module six, you might wanna relax a little bit, right? I know a lot of you get in there and power through, like I wanna get out there, I wanna get out there, I wanna learn this and I endorse that. I want you to get out there too, but don't stop training at module six because you're only halfway there. Remember this website here, and I used to say it was my brain. Now it's my brain, best brain, Travis's brain, and everyone else who works here uploaded to the internet so that you can download it and put it into your brain. This is collectively 35 years experience in the notary industry on one website. And you can download it into your brain by watching it, listening to it, engaging with it. And I want you to have that, you pay for it, you should be using it and don't just stop at module six. 
Now, the next thing that I want to point out is our RON training, and I think this might be a little overlooked by a lot of notaries, and that's why I want to do this episode, because we have so many new members that have come in, and I want to make sure that you guys understand, no matter what state you're in, it, it, you know, California is the last man standing, it's going to be the last man standing, if you're a California notary, you should be taking a look at this RON training, because in, in, in no matter what state you're in, if you think about RON, Please review the RON training as well, even if you're not a RON yet. Our industry is going toward using RON. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. California can, can be the last man standing all you all it wants to. Our training is not how to conduct a RON. Okay, I mean, we do have some of that in there. Our training is about being safe as a RON. And I, I'll put it to you this way. Every single one of you here tonight or watching the replay has been on camera this year, you just didn't know you were on camera. My living room is on camera. Everything in my house is on camera except for changing rooms and bathrooms. So no bedrooms, but my office, my hallways, my dining table. And you know why I have those cameras? Not because I'm trying to catch anybody doing anything, although Ed did recently, and if you know me, you heard the story. But because I have two dogs and I love them very much. And when I'm not here, I wanna be able to look in and check on them and make sure that they haven't gotten into trouble. I have Alexa tell me if a window breaks, I have, we have all this technology and guess what? The cameras in my home, you'd never know where they are. You would never see them because if someone did break in my home, I don't want them to know a camera is there. I wanna catch them. They're high definition, they are, picking up every word I'm saying right now. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. This is a camera. It's a USB charger. And there's a little hole. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a little hole in the center. This camera stopped a party from happening in my house the last notary conference I went to with my dog walker that was in my living room. So you're being filmed regardless, but with Ron, there is no going back. You're on camera. You say the wrong thing. You do the wrong thing. You cannot go backwards. You are filmed. And if you work for Amrock, you stated at the very beginning, that statement is not there to protect you. It is there to protect Amrock. It says this is being recorded for record retention purposes on behalf of your lender and your title agency. It does not say on behalf of the notary. So that means that 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 recording that goes to your electronic journal is accessible by the lender and title agency or you have to give it to them. They make you say it on camera and they make the signers agree to it. So once you've completed that signing, you are now everything that you've done on camera. So we are erring on the side of caution with Ron to make sure. And we're also telling you which platforms are the best to work with. We've invited many of them to give presentations at Notary Stars and you have access to those interviews that we are giving to those RON platforms. Uh, you have a, a whole tear sheet so you can compare those platforms together. And we're also telling you which ones we don't believe you should work with, which I won't go into tonight. But there are some platforms that do not have our best interests in heart and that are currently stealing business from non-RON states and then taking it and undercutting notaries in other states for how much they're going to do the RON for. It, you know, we have to get in there and protect that. Uh, so that's what our RON training is about. It's not just about the uh, how to conduct a RON. It's also about RON safety and RON education. So don't overlook this section just because you're not doing RON at the moment. Now, I wanna tell you about our advanced marketing curriculum section. A lot of you did upgrade to that during the Black Friday sale. Um, if you have not known, uh, I am a marketing genius when it comes to the internet, and I will say I really am. There is not a zip code that I don't want my company website to come up or any of my listings that I give special attention to, that if I want them to come up, I will get them to come up. I need you guys to meet me halfway with your listings and input your information, but I work really hard on this site and the Unlimited Inc. Notary website. We have 
hundreds and hundreds of pages. And I teach my marketing students, not only direct marketing, how I got all my 150 plus close to 200 clients that make unlimited ink notary what it is. But I also teach notaries how to do this themselves. Okay, I go literally over everything that you could possibly need in your notary business. And I film it every Tuesday. I have a general mentorship every Thursday. And I'm just scrolling through so you can see some of the, the titles that while I'm talking. These are just some of the titles that I talk about in my marketing course. And if you are at that point where you're looking for direct business or you're looking how to scale your business, this would be where you need to jump to next. Now, I have gone over every topic and and I did special seminars last year on SEO. Um, I will tell you that there is not a single person on this planet that can't build a website that can't make it come up first. I have some students in my marketing course that I know have some technological challenges. And I will tell you that I have some of the, the best, um, brightest minds that are just open to learning come into this course. And I was actually shocked. Um, recently I have a, a website review that I needed to do for one of my students. And I was just testing and they haven't even built that long ago and they're coming up in page one. Now I'll tell you this about the internet. If you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to reach page one and you're not going to be a competitor. I teach people to be competitors and that's a different side of me because I I'm all about the notary training. But if you are ready and you are trying to grow your business, um, this is the course that you you really want to you want to take. Okay. So I'm done scrolling through that. I hope you saw some of the titles that we have available. This is, you know, we're talking over 200 hours of training when you get into this. One thing that I am uh, adding to my marketing course in 2023, and we're kicking it off at the Notary Summit in 2023 on January 14th, is if you are looking to become a signing agency, I would love competitors and colleagues, whatever you choose to be, but I would choose to be colleagues. I will be teaching you everything I know about running a signing agency. And if that is your path in life, please join my marketing course because I will be sharing everything that I know. There's, there's no secret sauce other than hard work, but I will be telling you everything I know about running a signing agency. And that's all going to start on January 14th. My marketing students will have access to that course as well in the replay of that. And then we will be adding that in as a weekly course. I want to talk about notary resources now. We have worked really hard to put the most valuable resources that you can find for a notary business on the internet. Full disclosure, anything that we find, we probably get an affiliate commission off of it. But I'm not putting anything up there that I haven't spent my money on. And there's nothing on that website that you can't call me and say, can you show it to me? I don't put things on there. And if I, I mean, well, let me say, I shouldn't say there's nothing because there's a few. When we got backlogged on printers during COVID, I turned to a company that I trusted and put some of their models on there because we couldn't buy the models that I suggested. So I shouldn't say nothing because I'm not a liar. Uh, but we put things on here so that you can uh, thrive in business, save on money, um, find how you know I cut costs in corners, but also have the quality. And I don't want you to miss this section. I want you to bookmark at least that web page um, and, and, and make sure that you know you can find anything related to the notary business here. Okay, um, it, it's a pretty big drop down. We're always updating it. Uh, if you find something that you think should be on there, please send us an information. And if you send it in to us, I'll put your affiliate link if you have one. As long as you let me put your name saying so and so endorses it and this is why. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the last two tabs and then I'm going to open this up for conversation. Uh, and then I'm, I'm also going to introduce our staff. I just want to make sure everyone is here. Okay, so the next thing that we're talking about here is our hiring companies. I really want to make sure you don't miss this, especially in a downturn market. 
We have our first list, which is any membership level has access to this, which is our hiring and title companies uh, nationwide. These are companies that hire you no matter where you are. I've worked for them. Most of you have probably worked for them. They always have business. Um, some of them may not be doing that great. Uh, loan closers, strangely, is the first signing agency I ever worked with. <laughs> um, it's a, uh, it's a, 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 I still love having them on there. Now, if you work with them, you might think they are low ballers, but I'll tell you something. Those low ballers paid my rent for quite a few years while I was getting this business started 12 years ago. And I still have a great relationship with them. Uh, but if they're a nationwide signing agency, we try to put them up right up on the top of the website here. Some of these are actually affiliates of Notary Stars, meaning that they allow us to send them their list. So you definitely want to get in with these. Uh, we don't publish who uses the Notary Stars, and here's why. The first company that we ever published, they got over 100 phone calls in an hour, signed me up, how do I get with you? And it, they said, if you ever tell another notary who we are again, we will we will never contact you again because uh, we don't have the kind of bandwidth to answer that many phone calls. So we now just send the list over from those who have completed training and then they take it in their time and put you into their uh, their signing agencies and they can choose to work with you or not based on your performance. We just get the door open for you. Okay, and you do need to be on signing order. Most of them are on signing order. We have one that works with snap docs and I send them out to them every month or every quarter based on their preferences. As long as you've hit 100 hours of training within the website. You'll get on that list and I do marry it with notary to pro graduates, there are three lists actually there are those who took notary to pro those who took notary stars and those who took both okay. Um, so getting back to the hiring companies, the next one is for the upgraded members here is the expanded uh, hiring list I put a notice here because. I'm not 123 notary i'm not notary rotary and I don't want people complaining on here, you can say that a. A uh, company is not a great company to work with without being mean or rude. We live in the age of screenshots. Okay, I get sent a screenshot every day because believe it or not, I know many people love me and thank you for loving me. But there's people out there that hate me too, like literally hate me. And they put mean things about me on the internet. And they people send me the screenshots. I know notaries who screenshot and they, they say something about unlimited ink. And guess what? They never work with Unlimited Ink again. And if they say something about one of our partner companies and it gets back to me, I have no choice but to blacklist them and take them off my list because I can't have them talking about the company's bet. So be careful where you're posting information and how you post it. You can say they're slow to pay. I don't like working with them. All of those sorts of things. You have a right to an opinion, but be professional about it. You're a business owner, not just a notary. When you go into this loan signing industry, you are a professional. So we put a big logo before you go in. Now, when you log into this page, you're able to search by local signing agencies, which are harder to get business with. Um, you wanna make sure that you add, if you take, you give. If you hear about one that's not there, but you are able to filter these uh, by uh, national, local, and state. Okay, so you wanna start after the nationals, start looking at your, uh, your local signing agencies. We have over 480 companies on this section, okay? And we are looking at a better way to present this information, but for right now, this is how it is. And there's a simple feature. You can like or dislike, and you can leave it at that so you don't, and nobody knows who you are, and it'll tell how many clicks and everything are there. Or you can actually leave a comment, but we have no control over someone else screenshotting your comment and sending it around the world in 30 seconds or less. So just make sure that you are you are being very careful with how you comment on um, signing agencies. The next thing that I wanna talk about is that we have access to is a blacklist of signing agencies. We do keep this updated. Some of these are gone out of business, thank God. But we do recommend that you put these in if you're um, um, in the list and now, uh, or if you're print these out, put them in your folder. One thing I want to tell you is, is that I've only had one company almost get me on these and I didn't have this list at the time. This list was not composed by me. It was not composed by our members. 
This list is handed down to me from signing order and snap docs, uh, people that work there that they're not allowed to even be on their platforms. That's how bad they are. Okay, so if you can't make it on the two biggest platforms out there to control your notary business, probably something wrong, unless they have a platform. These are old school signing agencies that, you know, didn't do very well. Um, so we tell you if you if you want to keep that there and if you've never heard of that signing agency before when you start marketing just take a look at the list before you commit to working with them and if you commit to working with them probably not going to get paid at all ever no how no way um and that will be just chalk it up to experience but just letting you know in advance who they are um we are still working on adding side gigs and field inspections and all those things. That's something that's that that we are ever doing. I'm never going to say that we're going to expand it in 23, 2023. We have everything that you can do in those sections if you want to add in and things. And I would like to say this while I have your ears tonight and while you're watching the replay is there is no shame in a downturn market by having a small side gig to this day. I still have a Lyft and Uber sticker on my car and I keep my car available because like you know unlimited ink is still thriving and if you think we're in a downturn market believe me we are still thriving we're still doing really well although there was kind of like a turnover in how things work we're still thriving but i keep a lift and uber sticker and my account on rover and everything up to date no matter how busy i am because excuse my language this just knit could end tomorrow and i am very well aware of it okay i am very well aware that I am blessed at the moment, but we live in real estate, which is feast or famine, and this may not last forever. I'm so blessed at this moment. I, I have friends and colleagues that have lost jobs and uh, not doing well at the moment and are, are doing other things. So I keep a side gig no matter what. And my claim to fame is I actually did pay for half of my wedding using the Rover money that I did walking dogs uh, while I was building this business. And when I got ready to get married. I'm not anymore, in case you guys know anybody who's single. But um, I did use half of my Rover money to pay for my wedding, and I had a wonderful wedding. All right, guys, we have one more section to go over, and then I'm going to open this up for conversation after introducing our staff here. Um, we have a blog section, which I talked about earlier. And this blog section is our community blogs. And I'm loading that up. Our homepage has what we think are highlighted blogs, uh, but we have blogs that you can read and we have information about the notary blacklist, why you should not be using UPS or FedEx to scan or ship, uh, scan your documents. We have information about how to uh, fidelity approval, military IDs, the new one. If you haven't read it, go back and read it. We have so much information in our blogs and we don't email out every single blog that we have okay um, it's really important that you guys come back and check the blog section if i send out an email every time we wrote a blog every time a video was posted you'd really get annoyed and we try to keep it down to a bare minimum and i try to incorporate everything that we do in a month into one email but you want to make sure that you are coming back and checking out the blog section Bill posts a blog every month, Beth posts a blog every month, and I post a blog every month. Sometimes they're co-written, but you wanna make sure that you're reading them because we are putting uh, information in there that's very valuable. And I'll tell you, I'm knocking on Travis's door, knock, 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 to get him to start a blog because he has some great information that he could be adding in. We won't talk about what it is, but I am putting him on the spot right now uh, because uh, these are information that you can you can catch on the go. You can read it while you're going to bed, uh, whenever. But just try to check it once a month and see what you have it, uh, what you're missing out on. Another thing that we have available for you is the Notary Podcast. Now these are not just our podcast. Uh, we also post the replays from Laura and Bill uh, with with TNT Notary. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're also listening to those. These are ripped and pulled and posted with permission to our channel. We are looking for other notaries who are doing podcasts. So if you are out there doing a podcast and you think that you have value for the industry, please let us hear about it. We will promote you on Notary Stars. Uh, you know, we're not doing any monetization uh, for this at all. We would love for you to 
tell us about what you have available for the notary community. And if, and I, I hate to say, if we deem it worthy, it won't be just me. It'll be a, a collective um, group behind the scenes saying, hey, yeah, we should put that on there. If, if we find that there's value in that as well, we will put it on the site. Um, so if you fall into that category and you're doing a podcast, whether you're here tonight or watching the replay, um, please let me know. Uh, email us at contact at notarystars.com and we'll get it up there. Now, two more things before we go. We did add in a scam alert this year. Um, we have uh, posted just a few of them so far. Uh, the very first scam is probably the most important in a downturn market. You're going to have to be very careful. There are people that are looking to, or that are desperate for money at the moment and may not be doing legal things. Uh, so we have added this in. And I do want to point out to you that every single person, no matter uh, what listing level you are on, are able to post a scam. So if you go into edit listing along the sidebar here, you can contribute in an article or you can report a scam. And under your listing, all you have to do is report a scam and then you you put in the information, you can add an image, which we want you to do. We'll add one for you if you don't. Give it a title, make sure to fill it out entirely. This will go out into SEO searches. It'll come up on Notary Stars and then we'll let people know about it as well, especially if it's something prevalent throughout the United States. Um, you might've seen some of our scam emails going out if you live in certain states, uh, because there were some, uh, quite a few that went out uh, throughout the last six months as the downturn has happened in the market, we will keep you posted on on uh, on any scams that are coming up. Now, guys, uh, we've reached the end. Of course, our FAQ is there for, if you're looking for uh, to sign up. Um, I want to thank you for joining me tonight, but now I do want to take a little bit of time and I just would like for, and if you don't mind, if you're here, we're only gonna do this for a few minutes. Um, I'd like to see if you could turn on your cameras for a few minutes. I'm gonna start with Miss Beth, uh, who a lot of you know. Um, I already made her a co-host here, but I'm gonna pin her video there. I'd like to give, uh, I'd like to introduce you if you've never been at Notary Stars before, or if you're brand new with us, I'd like to introduce you to Miss Beth Hathoot. Um, Miss Beth is probably one of the most amazing notary instructors. She's there three days a week and covers general mentorship when I can't make it. Um, she is my, I call her my work wife. I talk to her more than I talk to anybody on the planet um, other than Travis. And I just like to, Miss Beth, would you like to tell us a little bit more about yourself and your background in this industry? Well, let's see. I've been a notary for 20 plus years. I think we're going on 22 or 23 now. Um, I did spend the early part of my career in title and escrow um, before saying that's enough of that nonsense and going out <laughs> and doing it myself. Um, Ronnie, I've been with Ronnie now for two years, two and a half years. And um, he just keeps squeezing more information out of me all the time. It's amazing um, what information you guys have available to you between Ronnie and Travis, myself, and of course, Bill Bumfries on the Ron training. You've got over 50 years worth of experience sitting right across the Zoom table from you. So not that we know everything, like Ronnie said, he finds himself going into classes as well. We all have our resources. We all have uh, educational classes that we take as well, just to make sure that we're up to date and we're always trying to offer you the, um, the best advice and the most accurate information that we can provide. And if we don't know it, we'll refer you out to somebody else. So hopefully we've provided a lot for you that you find valuable. And I'm really, really happy to have each and one, every one of you in my classes, if, if not for the long term. Some of you are um, coffee clutches, you know, bring your coffee and just show up so you hear some new information along with the same file you've seen a couple of dozen times, right? Um, and everybody else who's new, 
who's actually looking um, to up their game. Thanks everybody for being here. Thank you, Miss Beth. And thank you for everybody that turned on your camera and is waving. Uh, the next person that I'd like to uh, talk about is Travis Myers. Travis is my business partner at Unlimited Ink Notary and at Notary Stars. And I wanna tell you guys before I allow him to give a little bit of information about himself, I wanna tell you how this can roll. So about three years ago, I was cooking dinner, running a signing agency, crossing that you know million dollar, multi-million dollar avenue. And I remember Travis was one of my best notaries out in the field. It was a cross between him and two notaries. And he was the closest by proximity, but uh, he was out in the field. There were day, there were months where he was banging out 80 to 100 signings a month. And I called him and I remember I, I had two employees or contractors at the time that were supposed to do the equivalent of what now I know he does five times worth. And I, I was cooking dinner and I about cut my finger off, like literally just almost sliced through like you could see bone and I didn't even feel it. I was just so, I was so busy. And for so long, I couldn't, I, I realized I'd reached the point. And I remember I called him and I said, can you come to my house? Which at the time was like two hours away. I was like, could you come to my house? And I'm like holding a, a bandage up. And I said, you know, can you come here? And I said, you know, I want you to sit at my desk and I'll pay you whatever you would have made in the field. Uh, to come and watch what I do and how I do it and how much it takes um, in order to to do this. And he said, sure. He, he came down. Travis is a cool guy. He came down. He put him in a hotel and, uh, uh, you know, we ate every night. And I showed him what we were doing and he assessed the, the people that we had helping with the company. And he was like, I can do this. And I said, no, 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 no. I need you to go home and sleep on it. He did it for three days. I think we did it for three days or a week. And um, I said, I need you to, I need you to uh, go home and sleep on it. Like have a nightmare about it first. And he, he called me on Monday. He goes, yeah, I can do it. And we've been partners ever since. Um, Travis is probably my saving grace. He runs Unlimited Ink Notary now. I still manage in the morning uh, until he comes in. But he manages pretty much from 11 to 11 and I wake up at five and get everything started with everything else and have my meetings with Beth and him and kind of dotted line to unlimited ink but Travis really runs the ship at unlimited ink notary now. So I'm going to add a pin for him now and Travis, why don't you tell us a little bit about your uh, background. Okay, can you hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. All right, perfect. Uh, good evening, everybody. I always feel so bad at this because I'm the introverted person and I always have a hard time of uh, talking about myself. But no, I'm uh, Ronnie's business partner, Travis at Unlimited Inc. And, uh, you know, my background, at least in the, the real estate world, I worked in lending for three or four years and same thing as Beth, enough of that stuff. And I, you know, hit the road to be a notary. So, but my lending experience, you know, I learned a plethora of information about real estate. So when I transferred over to the notary world, um, the real estate, you know, knowledge and vocabulary uh, was, you know, was already aware of it. And plus a lot of the ins and outs of the documents and what they mean. So, you know, that part was, you know, relatively, you know, pr uh, pretty easy for me. And I didn't have to learn it as I, you know, became a notary. Um, but yeah, you know, I remember that night. Uh, or that weekend when I went down and visited Ronnie and kind of sat in and saw how he ran the pipeline. And I was pretty confident that I could do it because I ran a pipeline at the bank as kind of a hybrid loan officer, loan processor. And, uh, you know, what I do day in and day out at Unlimited Inc. is, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, uh, it's stressful. Some days are easier than others, especially the days at the beginning of the month. Uh, but at the bank, it just, it never gives up, you know, having, you know, what did I have when I left like 70 files from uh, application to closing and one of those can take up your day. So, you know, when you go out and execute those documents, you know, really appreciate that loan officer, lenders, title and escrow, no matter how late they are, no matter how many names are misspelled on those things, 
and the work that it takes to get those documents printed because it's a, it's a tremendous amount of work. Um, but I run the daily operations uh, at Unlimited Inc. Some of you are probably familiar, you know, with me if we've, uh, you know, spoken on the phone and uh, executed signings together. Uh, but I pretty much do all the team training and I am take over all the high escalations and I problem solve. And then, you know, I do a lot of other projects uh, behind the scene. I do some training on notary stars, but, um, you know, I, anything unlimited ink wise, whether it's, uh, you know, pipeline or notary management, you know, team counseling and coaching and our, uh, uh, our books uh, that I've just recently taken over. Um, that's pretty much what I do. Thank you, Travis. Um, I want everybody to give both of these people a round of applause. We still are, uh, are we are still um, going here. I, I actually see people here that, you know, have been with us for so long and it just makes me feel so good. Um, guys, I want to tell you uh, that I know that I've been the face of the company, but I am not the only person here. You know, Beth and Travis and Bill is also here. Um, helping facilitate things. We have a team that's under us. We are, you know, basically the faces, the voices of the company. We can't do what we do without you, but I want to make this very clear about Notary Stars um, because I think that it is so important for that you to understand. Although we, I own and Travis owns Notary Stars and Unlimited Ink Notary, they are completely separate businesses. Notary Stars is very self-serving for me in a lot of ways. When I need you, and I know you've had the training, it's easy for me to call on you, but I can't guarantee every notary in the country business, right? So the unself-serving part of this is, is to take what it's like working and owning a signing agency, and no matter where you are, give you the knowledge that makes you the go-to notary. And in this industry, we hear a lot, come in, make six figures and all of these things. And I have to tell you, I see so many people who don't, and I'm not pinpointing any particular training platform out there in the world. And I know a lot of people like to pin Brittany and Christina, Christina against each other and, and all these things, but that's not, that's not my motive with Notary Stars. My motive with Notary Stars is I have never met a notary that really knows what they're doing that's unemployed. If you understand this industry, if you understand the documents, if you understand what a notary is used for and what clients are seeking, you are going to be able to facilitate a business that is amazing. I've been able to live in California, Georgia, uh, excuse me, California, Florida, and now Arizona to do this business. And uh, I've been able to uh, do anything. I can eat anything I want pretty much live where I want to. Is my life a, a perfect scenario? No. I work a lot. I gave up a lot for that. You may not even want to get to this level. I will tell you if I could go back, I, I, I will tell you, it is just as hard to get out of business as it into business. If I could go back to the days when I was making $80,000, I would have stopped there. And you guys, not that I don't love you, but it's been a lot of hard work after that threshold. It was staying up till 1130 at night. It was staying up till two o'clock in the morning. And now I own a signing agency where I'm up at 5 a.m. And I'm training, you know, until it's 617 here. And I'll still be up to 930 tonight. Um, not to, I don't want to talk too much, but I have some things going on with family health issues. And I've had to balance all of that. It's a lot of work. But if that's the path that you want to choose, that's what Notary Stars is for. And if you don't want to choose that path, if you just want to be a great notary who understands the loan documents and give a great signing and your goal is $30,000 a year, we want that for you. And this is what Notary Stars is all about. The other thing that I want to point out to you before we move on to anything else is that Notary Stars is a positive platform. I started out with talking about how I posted the idea of Notary Stars in an internet forum one night and went to bed and woke up the next day thinking, what did I do? And all I said was, wouldn't it be nice if we had something like this, where you can 
find everything. It can point me in the right direction. And I didn't have to dig through notary complaints. So I want you guys to know that over the last couple of years, you've changed me. Um, I started this officially in, in February. It'll be four years. And we've grown this much on our uh, platform. They're about just just a hair. I keep saying almost 10,000. It is just a hair now under 10,000 notaries on this website and that have been through and taken our training. Some have made it, some have not. I am not going to be a liar and tell you that everyone makes it and it's your fault if it's not. Sometimes it's just the cards. But if you want to be the greatest notary in the country, I promise you that we can help you with that. And if you go through this website and you really indulge in all the information that's there and take your time with it, we really can help you expand your mind, expand your business. And I will tell you this, in this particular industry, you have to learn to earn, okay? You, you will never go very far if you don't know everything. And it will take time to learn everything. You will be able to grow your business over the next decade by learning and you will never stop learning because you will always work for the client from a different uh, different state. Now we're gonna be working with people in different countries because of Ron. And I hope to continue to bring that information to you and keep evolving with you. Last thing that I wanna say for this video for anybody that's here tonight and anybody that's watching the replay, please understand that the, the, the uh, upcoming special that we have on December the 5th is extremely important, okay? This is extremely important because for the first time, I'm at a place in business where I can start helping you formulate a group that's going to help make decisions about your future. Matt Miller has started this in California with the California Independent League of Notaries, or excuse me, California League of Independent Notaries. And we're gonna be learning from him. We are now at a point where we are gonna start bringing in people and helping you formulate how to fight for your future. If we don't start looking at our future right now, we have, it's gonna be like those scanners at Walmart and Target and CVS. They're gonna take some of our jobs and there's only gonna be one person who survives like that manager that oversees that technology. So we need to start fighting for it now. We need to start making sure that we understand this industry. And I have to tell you, because of YouTube and social media, so many people have been brought into this industry. And you look what happened with Uber and Lyft in California. Anytime government sees that many people making that much money and it's just being boasted about on the internet left and right, you are calling for someone to come knock on your door and take it from you with taxes or fees or certifications. So I am looking to put together a coalition of state groups like the California Independent uh, California League of Independent Notaries to stop that from happening. And so that's where we're going with the agenda in uh, 2023 at Notary Stars. We will continue to bring you education on how to complete loan signings, but we are going to start bringing you groups that matter and are fighting for your future. Okay, guys. Um, I would like to ask if at this time, if everyone wouldn't mind turning on their cameras, um, I would like to do our signature wave. If you've never been here before, uh, we have been, we have been uh, doing a signature wave for quite a time. And I'll take the pins off the, uh, the screen right now. And we're going to do our signature wave for everybody. Let me remove Ms. Best Pin there as well. All right. I want to thank you for spending, you know, an hour and a half with me. Uh, but if you've never been at Notary Stars before, or you're looking to join with us, um, this is our people. They're going to be waving at you. And now we're going to say, wave to yourself. Wave to those future notaries. And Miss Beth, how do we really say it at Notary Stars? Just remember as you go along your journey, remember to reach back and grab the hand of the notary behind you and bring them along, show them the way.
All right.